Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. If you uh, there's uh, plenty of seats up in front here, so if you want to take a seat, uh, please do. Otherwise, you can just hang out on the on the slope. You don't want to know. So this is uh, really a very very special day. We haven't opened a new building since 2009, I believe it was, and then we on this campus uh, when we opened the theater. Uh, the CPAC, you know, and, and since then our any new building has uh, been taking place at the North County uh, through state uh, state funded projects. But this is our first milestone with my with Major L, which is uh, really an important thing. So I want to welcome you, uh, many of you back to Cuesta College, uh, some of you maybe for the first time. Uh, but this is a rare opportunity that we hope we're going to repeat several times during the life of Major L. And at this time, I would uh, like to invite uh, to the podium the president of the Board of Trustees, uh, Dr. Barbara George. Barbara. What a wonderful occasion. How fun to see so many friends and family. I say family. It's the quest of family has come back. It's good to see everyone. I'm so glad you're all here. To, and I welcome you to this, our first celebration of Major L, the great collaboration between Cuesta and all the communities we serve. We're so happy to share this joyous occasion with each of you today. The state-of-the-art instructional building is extraordinary in the multitude of resources it brings to our students and our faculty. It is a permanent reminder of the promise of this campus. The pact that Cuesta has kept with our communities for 54 years, and that is to serve all the residents of San Luis Obispo County with excellence in educational opportunities. And so we have replaced the cramped modular spaces with a 32,000 square foot high capacity, multidiscipline instructional space for our faculty to teach and our students to learn. The completion of the first major project from Major L approved by the voters in 2014. Do you remember? Three bond measures passed on that November day. And this building is the first building to be completed among all three. Whoa! <laughs> so let's acknowledge the fine work of Cuesta's Citizen Oversight Committee by recognizing the Chair Scott Lathrop and committee members Susan Dressler, Jordan Jansen, and Annika Scranton. Please stand and be recognized. Bringing this dream to life is our facilities team, very ably led by Terry Reese. Please stand and be acknowledged, Terry. Are you still working? There you are. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're out here and not in there. <laughs> and let's recognize and thank Brian McAllister, Assistant Director of Bond Projects, and Patrice Ely, Bond Analyst. Where are you? And I want to do a shout out to Keith Stearns, the Executive Director of Information Technology. When you go inside and see the magic that he has performed, you'll understand. Keith, where are you? There you are. Thank you. Now it is a privilege to acknowledge members of the architectural team, construction management group, and program management team that worked so hard to make this vision a reality. PMSM Project Architects, please stand. Representatives from PMSM. <laughs> Dedicated to projects that enrich the community. Block Construction, please stand. Ah, they're in the back. <laughs> Enhancing communities is at the core of everything Block does. 
Kitchell, Program Management, Managing Multiple Projects with Consistency. Kitchell. Thank you. This is wonderful, and it's good to have everyone here on this beautiful California day. Thank you for being here. Back to Dr. Stork. Thank you very much, Dr. George. I uh, appreciate the care uh, that you've given to the students, staff, and community all the years that you were with us as an employee, and especially now with your leadership of our trustees. And today for me and for all of us in this community, this is truly a day of joy and celebration. And thinking about today, I reflect on all the steps it took to arrive at this point together. When we strip everything else away, we are here because of people, people like yourselves who uh, believe in the concept of a community college, uh, people like yourself who believe in supporting education, and people like yourself who would step forward and, and approve a tax measure that you know will benefit, generation, benefit generations of people to, uh, in the future. The personal strength of your convictions and vision have brought us here. And all these individuals that were identified today have helped shape who we are as a college and who we are as a community. And these people cared very deeply about leaving a lasting legacy for this community and for future generations. And we are here due to the power of the people, many of whom are in the audience today and many of them who are no longer with us but joining us in spirit. Deep down, we know it is not just the building that makes this moment, but it's what happens inside the building. After the program today, um, our student ambassadors will be, be providing tours so you can see the magic that happens inside the building and allow you to hear from various members of our construction team, department faculty, and instrumental staff in making Major L a reality. I've had the unique opportunity and privilege to be at Cuesta College for almost 51 years. I remember when I started in the barracks across the creek in Camp San Luis Obispo, now the home of the California Conservation Corps. <clears throat> I know what it felt like to be on the, <clears throat> on the ground floor of something really exciting, something that we had absolutely no idea what it would look like, feel like, or what it would become but being part of creating something special. I remember when we built the first permanent building on the 150 acres of frontage property upon which we uh, stand today. It happened to be the physical education building, which served my interest as a football coach at the time and former athlete. We had no permanent facilities, and this was one that we needed the most to serve students. As each building was built thereafter, a transformation uh, be, uh, began to take place. The concept of temporary to permanent, the notion that we could rely on the campus, invest our future in the campus, and sell that permanency to the next generation of students, faculty, employees, and the community at large. I get that same feeling today as we open our first structure uh, and part of, as part of Measure L. When this building opened uh, this month, I saw something really transforming. There is an excitement amongst faculty, staff, and students. I had the opportunity to drop in and pop my head in and sit for half an hour in, in an economics class uh, the uh, last week. And uh, I was just watching the magic going on, the, the level of technology, the, the skill of the faculty mem member in guiding the instruction through multimedia information and real-time knowledge. And watching the students respond to it uh, there were no Game Boys, there were no games being played on smartphones. They were really attentive because there was action going on all the time. An investment in the future of Cuesta College and the community we serve, this building, our first Major L structure, houses some very important services to the college. This building will provide those extra moments and extra care for students and will help them realize their full potential. We have, not able, we have not been able to make it here today on our own, and each of you has played a role in making this dream come to life. Every time you touch this campus, you make it grow, and you change a student's life. We can never repay you for that gift. We also have some very special guests here today that I want to acknowledge. 
I want to acknowledge your attendance and the important role you play. Whether you be a trustee, a local government representative, a state government, we are all players in making sure that education happens at all levels in California and San Luis Obispo County. I would like our members of the Cuesta College Board of Trustees to please stand. Uh, Trustee George, uh, Trustee Mullen, uh, Trustee Sizak, uh, Trustee Strobridge, and I don't believe Trustee Mitchell is here today, and also Trustee Jordan Jansen, our student trustee, who's in the back. Thank you very much for your thank you. But the, vi the vision of today was set back in 1964 and 65 by the then president, Merlin Eisenweiss, a new board of trustees, and a vice president of instruction, Dr. Frank Martinez. They were the visionaries who from starting with a box, a cardboard box with minutes from the organizing uh, committee of the county, standing in front of, I think, Motel 6, um, a, dream was, a dream was formed and delivered. And uh, with us today is the second president of Cuesta College, Dr. Frank Martinez. Will you please stand, Frank? And I believe uh, Dr. Rosenwasser was supposed to be here today, but I didn't see her, her here. She was really instrumental in helping us continue to drive forward to make sure we got that theater project done, which was a very complicated uh, project uh, wrought with all kinds of issues, with underfunded state money, uh, the need to go out and find uh, private money in order to support and build a magnificent building that's serving thousands of students and public um, all today. We have a, support, a supportive and passionate board of directors of our foundation who are all volunteers that continue to serve and assist the college in achieving its mission. And if you're a member of the foundation board of, uh, board of directors, will you please stand? And if you're standing, please wave. Yeah, thank you. In addition, we have elected officials school officials, and would you all stand and be recognized that are here today. Without the generosity of the community, community colleges cannot do what we are charged to do in the way we want to do it and still achieve the commitment to excellence that we live by on a daily basis. So I wanna thank you for the part you play in helping us achieve the goal. Whether you directly utilize the services of Cuesta College, having been a student here yourself, or have a family member, a colleague, a neighbor that has attended Cuesta, or you just believe in education, you are here for a reason, and we thank you very, very much. And at this time, I'd like to invite our elected official representatives uh, today uh, who are going to present today to come up to the podium and present their certificates of recognition. So I could have Kayla and uh, um, Christensen and also Supervisor Gibson. Please come forward. Thank you. You want to start? Yeah, thank you. My name is Kyla Smith. I'm with Assemblyman Jordan Cunningham. And on behalf of the State Assembly, we want to say thank you for putting forth this great building on budget, on time. That's enough to be said. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Carlin Christensen representing um, the city of San Luis Obispo. I'm vice mayor and on behalf of the city, we would also like to present a, a certificate of special recognition for this fantastic uh, new building built, uh, as uh, Barbara noted, is three years after the bond measure pass and, and for getting that bond measure pass in the first place. Fantastic, <laughs> and thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Carlin, well said. Thank, thank you. you. 
and I'm Bruce Gibson, uh, Second District County Supervisor for the County of San Luis Obispo, and proud to claim Cuesta College as one of the jewels of the Second District. That's right. Uh, <laughs> right along with Morrill Rock and Hearst Castle, it comes it comes tripping off the tongue, and that is that is true. Uh, I bring with me uh, the a certificate of recognition and the thanks of the Board of Supervisors for the vision that you have exercised, Dr. Stork, and all your supporting partners that you spent uh, time uh, acknowledging er earlier. I know from close personal experience that Cuesta College makes a difference, a huge difference in people's lives, and I salute your vision, I salute the drive that has uh, accomplished this great goal and the uh, forethought of uh, having Major L uh, with us here. So, sir, congratulations. Thank you very much, Bruce. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. So, thank you very much, uh, representatives. Everyone here is a gift to Cuesta College and to the community, and I want to thank you again for being here today to support this unveiling and this ribbon cutting. I hope you take advantage of the tour opportunities uh, and reception following the formal uh, ribbon cutting. You have a number on your uh, name tag, which is your tour group. You know, don't wander away. Don't, you can't jump into another tour group. It just is, it's really against the rules. Yeah. And so you have, where's our tour guides? Raise your numbers there. So we got over here, we got one and two and three, four. Okay. So you see who they are. Those are your tour, tour guides. And so uh, we are ready for the drum roll and the opportunity for the ribbon cutting. So I'd like to invite our uh, board of trustees um, and Dr. Wolf, our vice president for uh, academic affairs and uh, Scott Lathrop, the chair of the Citizens Oversight Committee and uh, uh, Vice President Troy, Terry Reese and Brian and McAllister, if you'll come forward to be a part of this ribbon cutting. Hey. 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 Hey.